Not every gift is a blessing because you can bring a Trojan horse as long as you tell everyone it's a stripper cake. So when I said I became a really terrible person, it was a really wasteful social experiment. I'm not saying it wasn't worth it, but it definitely went on longer than it should have because I now exclusively think of the wrong things to say. I journeyed to become a version I couldn't remove from myself just so that I could see a perspective that can finally explain what I couldn't explain before. People give insincere advice all the time saying if you want to be interesting, be relatable, help people, be interesting in other people. They never disclose that personality detectors are going off whenever you ask this desperate question. You wouldn't wear a gold chain in public if you didn't already give the impression that everyone will regret trying to steal it from you. The real answer for anyone who's ever felt more than excluded is that people like the quality of humanity and the power the light that virtue signaling paints on them but they like themselves more. Everyone wants to be a gift of humanity because then they'll feel entitled and deserving of more. The people wanting more is exactly how we're going to scam them. The value proposition you have to make with yourself is that everyone at one point in their lives believes that no one should ever be left behind. Then sell that belief through your words and actions and pretend that everyone else believes that too because who's going to fight that? It's an impenetrable argument because everyone values security over freedom. And I know it sounds like exploitation bait. This is the gold chain. The vulnerability that people want to see in order to feel like they have something on you. Shrewdness is also something that tends to be learned and not taught, and I would teach it to you, but I'd also get a van parked out my front door. Which is why we should all apply the abridged version of the art of war known as the 48 laws of power. To assume people have integrity, believe in the future, are kind and add any sort of value to humanity makes them believe that you're underestimating just how evil they can be. But the ultimate goal is to get as many people on your side as possible. The best way to approach people is to always assume they're narcissists which they're never not, but to always be on their side so that they can think that you're the only one who can make them feel that they're losing more than they gain if they betray you, which is the power we want over people. You have to become the biggest proof that their vapid life as a useless eater has any value in the world. And if they're not useless, then it's a net positive either way. This is the safest way to approach life. To be indispensable, to have a life with perceived limitless value, to become God in human flesh. You also have to be good at things to be dependable, and that's one thing I can't teach. But I mean, look at my gameplay. I played this game my whole life and tried harder to write it instead of PvP, and I forgot how to speak English seven years ago. I accidentally wrote on this topic as an essay instead of a script. I'll link in the description, but anyhow, you should check out my other videos that I clearly spent more time on.